From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh, bop, bado. Hey YouTube, this is D from Brooklyn, the Assistant Chiefy. Well, I'm here with another update of a piece of equipment that I think many of you will really love. After a lot of skimping and saving and selling a whole bunch of old equipment on eBay, I was able to pick myself up a Neptune Apex Aquarium Controller. So what I'm going to do is go over some of the features, some of the applications, and some of the uh, things that I found that were very valuable with the Neptune Apex Controller. Let me tell you, I'm keeping aquariums over 30 years, I've seen a lot of trends, a lot of uh, fly-by-night pieces of equipment, but this, people, let me tell you, I'm really not so much of an aquarium gimmick guy, but I've kind of fallen in love with this piece of equipment. The Neptune Apex allows you to control every aspect of your equipment, either fresh water or salt water equipment. Not only does it control every outlet, but it eliminates the need for timers, you know, those bulky timers that you tend to hook up and have to plug all these different power strips and things to control your lights, eliminates all of those, controls all of the pieces of equipment, and it allows you to monitor all of the equipment if you're not home. Yeah, that's why I love it. You go on vacation, you got to call your buddy up to feed your fish, monitor your tank, this allows you to program everything on your tank from lights to feeders, even fans. So let me go over some of the components, some of the features, and go over what I found made the Neptune Apex amazingly invaluable. I mean, very valuable to me. And uh, maybe you'll find it valuable too. So let's go. Well, I want to start off by saying thank you. From Marcus and the other guys over at the Reef Geeks, which is where I got this unit. They got a really good deal there. The package came with the Energy Bar 8, the probes for the pH monitoring, as well as the temperature probe. And they provide excellent customer service. I called him. He answered all my questions. He had some good pointers on how to configure it and was very, very pleasant and easy to talk to. So I just want to give a shout out to Marcus and the other guys over at the Reef Geeks. So here we are. At first notice, here's the Aqua Controller Energy Bar 8. This is the 8 probe outlet unit. As you can see, it's well packaged. The probes and everything are well packed. As far as a little surprise, I gotta say, hey, thanks, fellas. How'd you know I love sugar? I'll be bouncing off the walls. Or maybe that's your polite way of saying I'm gonna need a lot of sugar in order to get this thing done. <laughs> but anyway, thanks a lot. So, here's a checklist. As you can see, we get a base unit, energy bar 8, which is the power strip, more or less. The Apex light display, which gives you all your readings and your interface in order to monitor. Uh, at a glance pH and temperature and everything of that nature so as well as the temperature probe so as we open the box you can see it's very heavy gauge electrical got your ethernet and aqua bus uh, cables here as well as the head unit display unit and I will open that and go into more detail later now uh, one of the reasons I went in to this apex controller is uh, I have to say that uh, there's a lot of things that I like to do and automate with the system and there's a lot of equipment that we kind of accumulate over time which I just really needed to get rid of which kind of justified me getting this unit as I sold a lot of my old stuff. You know you get timers, you get power strips, you get all of these different pieces and uh, what this controller does is eliminate the need for some of that excess equipment it's going to be timer controlled so it'll it'll have the ability of shutting on and off your pumps managing your uh, lighting as far as uh, also like controlling dosing devices and things of that nature so in the end it's going to make your life a lot easier and Mr. Saltwater Tank says it's good so it's got to be good <laughs> here's a little shout out to Mark at the Mr. Saltwater Tank after looking at his review 
and the uh, accolades that uh, also he gave for automating your reef system as well as a few other colleagues at the uh, Brooklyn Aquarium Society that I know that actually used the unit. I uh, did a lot of cutting and pasting and saving and scrunching uh, in order to get this unit. So here's the unit. Let me unpackage it. Okay, everybody. So here I have. I've unpackaged the uh, Apex unit. And these are the two primary components. First of all, we have the Energy Bar 8, which basically communicates with this unit, the Aqua Controller. The Energy Bar 8, as you can see, provides you with eight individually controlled outlets. Now, these outlets are <clears throat> 120 volt outlets, which is standard here in the US. They're independently controlled and seen by this unit so what that basically means is these can be connected to the controller and individually controlled for timing whether you use it for your lights whether you use it to turn on and off pumps basically this unit and this unit are married they communicate this one communicates everything it's doing to this whether you have a fluctuation of power a uh, power outage or anything sent it, everything is married together so this illuminate this eliminates the need for those bulky timers you know the big timers that we're all so used to having um, and it's very convenient my only thing is my lights are individually digital timered they have timers built into them so I really won't need this to control my lights because they each have one plug which I'm gonna use these uh, dedicated outlets for these as it's been explain to me don't power up with a big flux of power but they gradually power up so it's a controlled uh, flow of electricity whereas old units I know I had that problem with my uh, Coralias I hooked them up to a wave maker and with the power that I had they were cut on very quick cut off very quick some pumps that generates a squeaking noise when they do that you know when they cut off and cut on these bring up a slow flow of energy and cut on the power slowly and it's supposed to eliminate those issues surges if if not for a better term so uh... these are the outlets this is the controller this is what's going to talk to the computer this is going to give you individual commands to the unit it's going to monitor uh... your devices it's going to tell you what your uh temperature your temperature probe connects here your pH probe connects here and it's going to give you a very good idea of everything going on in your aquarium some people say that you use these units to kind of uh, become lazy um, I don't see it like that this can only make you a little more efficient it's going to make sure that you keep an eye on your pH. It's going to give you an alarm. You can set it so that there's an alarm. If your pH drops it below a number or if it raises another number or if your temperature gets too high or drops too low, this is going to give you a detailed accountability for what's going on in your tank. So uh, now i got to do the hard part. I'm going to go into the tank and uh, look at my uh, existing unit and uh, do the switch over okay so uh... in the box here we have all the uh... aquabus connectors and, your, and your, uh, your probes this is i believe the temperature probe here uh... the other box this box here if you can see is the ph probe alright well you know, i gotta step away for a moment and i'll be right back uh... hopefully i'll have everything mounted in my existing spot and nice and cleaned up. All right, stay tuned. Hold on. Well, now here's the tank, six feet long. The apex is up and running, monitoring all the power, lighting pH on a regular basis as well as the temperature and the status of all my pumps and everything that's plugged into the tank. Um, it's so funny because uh, you know when you start monitoring and testing and, and realizing how much changes in a tank on a regular basis you can really appreciate 
having a controller. I never thought I would connect a controller uh, to my tank just simply with the cost and time investment. But uh, my tank is running as it should always be running. But now on top of that, I can monitor everything at the glance of the screen. Let me see if I can get a shot. Okay, so it's going to tell me the temp. It's going to tell me the pH right there. I know it's hard. I'm filming on my tablet. It's hard to focus. But the Apex controller monitors the temperature, the pH, and right here, it's going to tell you how much power it's using. I can see how much power it's using when the light's cut on, how much power it's using when the light's cut on. There are alarms you can set if the temperature goes too high or if the pH spikes or something. Right now my pH is low. The light's just cut on about... Uh, five minutes ago that'll probably change a little bit um and it's great i mean i love it i think it's awesome so uh tanks running well i actually noticed in the last couple of days my leather coral is split again i got two new ones down there and uh, a couple of more kenya trees on the bottom that have split so uh, uh everything is doing well tank growth is what it should be and the fish are happy that's the important thing right boys you're happy right yeah I'd take that as a yes alright so once again this is the assistant chiefy D from Brooklyn and this is my latest update in my uh, 125 now running the apex controller and it's doing fine